What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video for y'all. It's Fitness Friday. You know what time it is. I got my buttons on. Lose weight now. Ask me how. I got my Herbalife button down here for whatever reason. I got my 24 fitness hat. And I got on this shirt that says, I'm doing it for me. I'm doing this for me. Don't forget that when you're crushing your fitness goals, when you get the going gets tough, when you get tired of dieting, when you get tired of changing your lifestyle, remember that you're doing this for you. Remember that you're doing this so you can be around for your kids, for your loved ones. You're doing this so that you can um, be a better you and a healthier you, be the best version of you that you can be. You can't pour from an empty cup. So you can't help others until you help you. So, my tip for today is to remember that you're doing this for you. Anyways, I'm going to get into the workout. We're back to the full body. Um, if you want to see some more variations of all arms, all abs, all legs, let me know. I can go back and forth with those. Um, but today we're doing some all, some full body. We're going to be doing all combination movements. So, uh, that just means that we're working a couple muscle groups at a time, which is going to be better for... Um, your overall health, your overall posture, for the blood to be flowing, for um, weight loss, for fat to be burning, and things like that. We're going to be working more than one muscle group at a time. It's going to help the whole kinetic chain. So um, I just wanted to get right into the workout with you all. As you know that I'm going to be doing Talk About It Tuesday over on my Facebook and my Instagram. There's going to be some series that I'm going to do on Tuesdays, and that's where I'll be putting a lot of my Herbalife announcements and things like that. So I no longer will be putting them here. Um, all you guys will be getting is my workouts, and if you want to catch the Talk About It Tuesday where I'll be going over weight loss, um, tips, uh, tricks, things like that, um, information for health, for um, fitness tips and stuff like that, anything that you guys want to know will be uh, talked about or shown in Talk About It Tuesday. Last This past Tuesday, I did a kind of vlog style and showed you guys a day in the life of my herbal life. Um, a lot of people ask me, do I actually use the products on a daily basis? And I do every day. I could do many different variations of that video, but check that out if, if you would like to see how I run my day with my Herbalife products. It's a pretty cool video. So, um, I'm not going to take any more of your time. We are going to get to this workout. Hi guys, welcome back to another Fitness Friday. We are doing some of these crab walk tricep dips. This is a combo movement that a lot is going on. So you really want to pay attention to your core engagement and keeping your butt up in the air. Now I got some junk in the chunk county, so sometimes I uh, I start out at that tabletop and it begins to sag a little bit. Just try to watch in the mirror and really pay attention to keeping that flat back in that kind of tabletop position. Um, one is going to be counted from two leg lifts and two tricep dips that's one so um five to seven of these if you can if you can do five then do five i also backed up against the wall to show you that if you're having trouble keeping yourself up then you can lean up against the wall and support yourself on your shoulders against the wall also remember to really squeeze your abs especially as these legs come in Oh, 
And next we're doing another combo movement. This is a downward dog into a plank. Remember to come all the way down and keep that nice flat line from head to toe when you're in that plank position. Um, here's another angle. So we're going up into downward dog and coming in into plank. You can do these on your arms if it's a little bit troubling to do them on your forearms. The closer that you are to the ground, it's a little bit harder on your abs. So just play with it and see what's comfortable for you. Next, I love these beast mode taps. I don't know why this is one of my favorite things to do. You want to keep a flat back here and try not to really like rock. I know it's difficult with your hips to rock, but try not to rock from side to side so much and try to keep that core stabilized. If this is really troubling for you, you can extend one leg. That way some of your weight is stabilized in that extended leg, but keep that other leg bent at that 90 degree angle just above ground and keep your core nice and tight. Try to keep your back still flat. So we're going back into this plank position to do these leg lifts. We're going out to the side and up. When we lift up, we're going to really squeeze those glutes. I alternated legs, but I actually decided to just stick to one leg. So that's optional up to you um, whether you want to alternate legs or do one side, a set of one side and then a set of the other. As you can see here in a different angle, I decided to do one side. Um, I also wanted to show you that you want to pay attention that your butt's not way up in the air because that defeats the purpose of the muscle you're moving here. You don't want to look like this. Um, make sure that you're really in that plank position so that you're incorporating in your abdominals and really um, adding that resistance in with your abs and then your glutes are working, your arms are working. This is a very beneficial uh, full body workout. As you can see, I didn't really have room on the other side of the wall, but uh, try to get into a space where you can extend your legs out as far as you can to really get that oblique twist. Here I'm just showing you, you can do these on your knees if you're having trouble holding that flat back in the plank position. Quality is always better over quantity, so um, if this is easier for you to get in those movements side and squeezing those glutes, then please do. The workout will still be effective. For our last movement, we're holding a lunge and we are doing some shoulder presses, keeping your elbows at your ears, going straight up and coming back down just above your armpits at a 90 degree angle. I have weights here, I'm going to also show you with a band. Proper form for a lunge, of course, is to keep your front knee from going over your toes at a 90 degree angle and your back knee at a 90 degree angle just above ground. And I'm going to lift this up so you can see better my arm position. So we're going to hold on each leg for 10 shoulder presses on each side. As always, I'm going to do one set on camera for you guys to follow along with. Replay as many times as you need to. I would recommend two to three sets of this workout. And don't forget your cardio after 15 to 20 to 30 minutes is always you need to get a good fat burning session in directly after strength training. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you.